Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. I wanted to go over an exciting announcement today. We finally got the top level integration done on the Sourman brand of analyzers. Uh, currently integrated are the 030 and the 130 uh, versions. Uh, the primary difference between the two versions is uh, a couple simple things. Uh, one is uh, the 130's got a touch screen and the 130's got a field replaceable O2 and CO cell. When you get into the 030, it gets into a field replaceable O2 but a, just a, a factory re replaceable CO. Both analyzers are expected to have about a, a five year life on the O2 cell and a four year life on the CO cell. So these are really nice long life sensors. And what's really crazy with these analyzers is, is cost point on these. Um, these two, I pulled up the uh, NCI version of them and I'm gonna go ahead and just record this so Valerie can grab it for the video. So if you want to find the NCI version of the Sauron brand, they're just uh, packaged a little bit differently with some different accessories. But the reason I wanted to show you these is because the accessories are really quite slick uh, when it comes to test and measurement. So the NCI version, if you go into True Tech Tools website, you just type in NCI, you'll pull up these two analyzers specifically. And what they come with that's unique is basically on the probe set, I'm going to pull the probe out here, is a separate draft gauge on here. So let me get this out here. So basically with the analyzer, what you can do that's really slick is you can measure draft and you can measure um, you can measure combustion at the same time. So a couple things that you'll really like about these analyzers, uh, peek in here for a minute. So you'll notice that everything's color coded. You got green, you got orange, you got black on there. So you can see we got the orange, goes the orange. I'm gonna put the, uh, the draft gauge in line here. So I'm gonna just plug this in and I'm going to plug in the orange into the back end of here. So really nicely color coded. We'll get the, the black and a black. And then these are stack thermocouples on here. So it'll tell you stack or the um, air probe on here. So this one here is flu. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in there. And then I got the whole analyzer sort of hooked up. The analyzer itself, this is the O30. And to you know, power this thing on here, you just press the button here. This one's navigate by button. So it's a little bit, um, you know, it's just got the buttons to navigate up and down a little bit smaller of a screen. If you, this one's zeroing out here, and I'm gonna let uh, Val come over here for a second. If you take a look here at the 130, so the difference is now we got this nice big touch screen display on there, and both of them sort of work the same way. So the nice thing is if they're working with measure quick, you're really not gonna be an, um, interfacing with that touch screen too much. So Unless you want the field replaceable CO and O2 sensors, there's really no reason that you have to go to the touchscreen display. And what's really nice with these is price. Um, the, uh, the O3O comes in at about $800. So if you're looking at analyzers and you sent one in for calibration, you realize that for what some of the companies cost to calibrate the analyzer, you can actually own an analyzer from Sauerman. So these are a lot lower cost of ownership because of the long sensor life and just initial cost is lower also, and they, they are very reasonable to service. So what I've got hooked up right here is I tied in probes the same way. I do have an accessory uh, thermocouple here plugged in so I can get ambient air temperature, but this is our draft gauge. So what's nice with this is I can measure draft and combustion at the same time. A lot of times when we're like doing testing, what you're gonna find out is like draft is dynamic, so you'll see the draft start falling off. Maybe you have a block chimney or you have an undersized stack on there. It'll affect combustion, but unless we're real-time measuring draft, we just don't see it. So measuring draft and measuring combustion at the same time is pretty slick, and that's what this uh, NCI version of the kit offers. I'm sure you can order this from as an accessory from Sourman if you want to purchase from another wholesaler, but this is already packaged together and it's uh, ready to go. Stack, th stack thermocouple on this, uh, really nice little stack thermocouple. Another nice thing on these is, you know, Sauron made them so you can take them apart and actually replace the thermocouple in there. So they're, they're very easy to service again on this, uh, on this configuration. Slide the stack in here just so we can uh, get both measurements here. I've got this tied in with Measure Quick already, and I'll just show you in the toolbox here. If you go into toolbox, you're gonna wanna have this set up with the Sauron SE. Uh, 130 on this one. You can see it's already connected. And I'm using a combination of probes. Again, another cool thing with MeasureQuick, so we can do you know temperature from field piece, we can do pressures from Testo. So you can see I got some Testo manometers down here. 
and I've got some field piece stuff up top here making the supply air measurement, but it's a little bit of everything from different manufacturers. So that's, that's really quite a slick thing we can do a measure quick. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start the analyzer up, and when I start the analyzer here, you'll notice that the pump up here also started right here. So there's a little symbol here, the green symbol telling you the pump's on or off there. It's gonna take a few seconds for the analyzer to get air all the way through the hose and then it's gonna start making some calculations. You can see right here, we got draft already calculating on the analyzer and our other readings are starting to populate here. So it'll give this a few minutes to stabilize and we'll get some readings in. So the Sourman analyzers, um, the, you know, a couple things, this is uh, just a sidebar. These are a uh, French made analyzer, been around for a couple years. Um, they've got, uh, you know, a, a service center here, I think it's in uh, New Jersey in the United States, and I believe Testo, I mean, you know, not Testo, I believe also TrueTech Tools will be servicing these analyzers. So service on these will be easy to get done, uh, it'll be all done in the, in, the, in the states. Another nice thing with Sourman is they've actually been extremely responsive to working with us at MeasureQuick. So we've asked them to make some improvements to the analyzer, some changes to firmware, make this a, 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 a better instrument for the U.S. and they've been very responsive in, in getting those kind of things done. Uh, we're working with Tyler really closely at Sourman. He's great on the, on the rep side. If you need somebody to come out and teach you about the analyzers, uh, he, he's your man. He'll travel pretty much anywhere in the country to do that. And if you've fought a combustion analyzer before, you know that the support is absolutely critical because without good support, um, a lot of guys don't know what to do with these things. And so, you know, we're working very closely with them to make sure everything is a top notch on here. So we're starting to settle out here and uh, we'll just go through our measurements just to, to show you what we're doing. The CO is like a raw CO measurement. So that's just the, the CO that the um, cells are reading. So we're at 15 parts per million. Our O2 is at 9.7. Remember we start about 21%. We've got combustion air temperature which is measured off this stack thermocouple. We've got our stack temperature at 228 our CO air free at 28, our excess air at 84%, our efficiencies run at 84.5, and our dew points 118. And then CO2 is 6.3%, and then outdoor air temperature we brought in from the web. Now, if you look at these measurements on their own, it's like, well, okay, this is interesting, but it's not very helpful unless you know what the reading should be. And that's where we really take this to the next level and measure quick. Because if you view the gauges here, what you're gonna get here is targets for everything. So you can see right on the home screen, that CO air free is in a really good range. It's deep into the green, it's well, well below 100 ppm, really good operation. We're in about 84% efficiency. I'm gonna hit the, the flame down here and go to my combustion readings. And you can see my CO is at 15 parts per million, that's good, excess air is in range. Combustion uh, air is a little warm, but that's just because we're in this cabinet in here. I probably could move it outside the cabinet and get a little lower. But you can see the stack temperature here is, is out of whack, right? It's really low stack temp, and I am not sure why Goodman runs such low stack temperatures on here. But we'll tap on that, and it's gonna tell you, you know, what stack temperature is, why it's measured, uh, where to measure it, what low stack water, what low stack temperature means. In this case, um, you know, I would get on the phone with Goodman and find out what's going on here because that's pretty low measurement. Um, we can also go in here, let me go in, I'll hit the next screen here. So there's three screens because there's three dots on the, on the app. So slide again, I can see my O2 and CO2. So my, my O2 is a little on the high side, which means my CO2, which is calculated from that, is gonna be on the low side. Swipe again, I can see my stack temperature, my excess air. These are not, this particular analyzer is not equipped with NOx. This analyzer, the 130, is upgradable to NO or NOx. So it is a three cell analyzer. If we wanted NOx for in California, we can order it that way. And we'll swipe again and we're to our efficiency gross, uh, which is 84%. We only show the calculation that matters for these analyzers. So gross efficiency is gonna be your non-condensing efficiency. Net is gonna be your condensing efficiency. So if you're in a 90 plus furnace, Gross would not show up in net wood. We got our input to our appliance, our output to our appliance, and we'll slide again, we're back here. So it's an 80 plus natural gas, non-condensing, multi-stage, right? So I'm gonna go back to our workflow for a minute, 
and we'll just go back in and test the system. Go back to combustion, and I'm going to just capture these measurements. And we're going to go into temperature. Uh, well, let's go into, uh, let's see here, temperature second stage. And we can see now we've got our supply, dry bulb coming from that um, fuel piece, our return coming from a Testo probe. Temperature rise is 32 degrees. And let me pull my phone out here because I think this is just really slick. If we get to the, go into the cool cloud application, and let's see here, we'll slide into cool calc. Here, and where the furnace is running in high, we'll go to device status, and you can see Measure Quick's calculating 1364, and the current airflow they're calling for is 1399. So, you know, we're really close. We're actually 1368, 1372, it's bouncing around a little bit. But you can see uh, how precise this is, and it's because the Sourman analyzer is very accurately calculating efficiency. So with the measure quick, we're able to enter, uh, to calculate the input. So we measured, uh, you know, the input by clocking the meter. We got the temperature rise. Uh, and then we got the uh, efficiency, and we're able to use that in a sensible heat formula to calculate airflow. So you can see that when you have good instrumentation, and all these instruments for all these manufacturers are really really good instrumentation, you end up getting a very, very accurate measurement. So there's a lot we're going to be able to do with the Sourman Analyzer. Just to show you a couple other neat things here, um, if we get into some of the other measurements that it makes, it actually has some CO uh, measurement, a gas tightness test, your pump flow rate, a heat exchanger integrity test. This will actually tell you if the heat exchanger is good or bad. So it's looking at O2 and CO on there. Um, this test is outlined in the manual on here, so it'll tell you the test is in progress. It'll run through a small test, we'll let it go here for a minute, it'll tell us if it's a, a pass or a fail. What it's looking for is changes in, uh, in O2 or a drop in the, uh, rise in the CO or probably a fall in the O2 over time. Um, and I haven't read through this whole test yet, so I'm just taking a, a swag at what I think it is, but pretty sure that's what it's doing. And so with the integrity test on the heat exchanger, we can actually uh, have a, you know, documentation that there's something going on there. We'll let this run for a couple more seconds. But sourman has got some really good stuff. If, you, uh, if you're in the market for a combustion analyzer, it's one I definitely would look at, especially for the price point. It's not gonna, there's not gonna be an analyzer out there that works with MeasureQuick at a better price point. Um, and you know, it's a, it's a, again, we just done our top level integration and this is only gonna get better. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this. And some of you guys that already have the analyzers, um, your analyzer should just be plug and play. So you should just be able to add it in a toolbox and measure quick and start using it. And I think uh, you'll find that this is a, a very simple to use product and it's, uh, it's a great addition to the MeasureQuick family. So anyway, this is Jim with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.